Hello everyone, my name is CSG88 and welcome to episode 16 of the refurbished Logo Evolution series. Today, we'll be looking at one of my favourite defunct companies of all time. I didn't grow up with them, but I love them and their logos. We're looking at ITC Entertainment. ITC Entertainment Group, to give you the full name, was a British television production company that was founded in 1954 as a distribution unit of associated television. ITC was independent from 1982 to 1995 until Polygram Film Entertainment acquired them. ITC went defunct in 1998 after Polygram was sold. We have seven logos to look at today, so let's get things started. The first logo is this. It's called the Horizontal Diamonds and was used from 1956 to 1960. I have two variants and they're essentially the same thing. It seems that ITC kept the diamonds in place for every single one of their logos. This is the only logo from them that consists of horizontal diamonds, all the others have vertical diamonds. Speaking of the devil, the second logo is this. It's called the Vertical Diamonds, of course, and it was used from 1956 to the early 60s. These two logos, along with the fifth and the sixth logo, aren't entirely significant. The first two were just in credit ones, the fifth logo is still, and the sixth logo was only used for a few days. We'll talk about the fifth and sixth logos in a couple of minutes. Up next is the longest used logo from ITC, in use for 26 years. It looks like this. Most people just call it the compass, but I call it the compass and map, because I'm special. It was used from 1959 to 1975. I've collected six versions. One is the same as before, but in colour. One says distribution instead of presents. And the other four versions are in credit versions. Nice animation for 1959, in fact, very nice animation. This logo isn't that bad considering other logos at the time, even by today it's alright. The fanfare, which by the way was composed by Jack Pennell, was used in the next logo, which looks like this. It's often called the spinning top, and it was used from 1973 to 1989. I have six versions, three of them have the ITC logo zooming into the centre, one of these says presents underneath, one says production underneath, and one says distribution underneath. Two variants are closing versions. This consists of the word from being to the left of the ITC logo. One of these versions has an ATV byline. The last version is an in credit notice with an ATV byline. This logo, again, is pretty good for 1973, and the music still goes well with it, I think. This isn't my favourite logo from ITC, though. Now we arrive at the fifth logo, which looks like this. 
It's been called the Steel Diamond Top, and it was seen in 1977, and was used from 1980 to 1987. Out of the seven versions on the COG wiki, I was able to get four of them. The version with the blue background, the version with the black background, the version with the pink background, and the in credit version. The blue and the black background version say from ITC Entertainment, the pink background variant says ITC Productions, and the in credit variant says from ITC Productions Inc. Although it's boring, I like it because it gives us a bit of a break from the animated logos. The next logo is just unnecessary, and like I said, it was only used for a few days. It looks like this. I call it the Gold Diamonds, and it was used from February the 7th to February the 9th, 1988. When you hear a date like that, it makes you think about why it shouldn't exist. It's not bad or anything, it's just unneeded. It's my least favourite logo from ITC. The last logo alone is the reason for liking ITC. The seventh logo is this. I call it the Gold Diamonds 2, and it was used from 1989 to 1998. I have six versions. Four of them are shortened versions. Three of them say Entertainment Group, with the fourth version including a polygram byline. The other two variants are normal length versions similar to the original. The first one says Entertainment Group underneath ITC, and the second one has a polygram byline. I don't know why, but I love this logo. Like, really love it. It's most likely because of how tame it is compared to the third and fourth logo. The animation is fantastic, and the different music fits well. It's a lovely end to this video. I really wish ITC was still around, if only Polygram didn't buy them. Anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching this video, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.